Hello and welcome to part 12 of the Save Sci-Fi Let's Play of Star Trek Legacy. I'm your host David and I shall be playing it through. Please forgive the swearing, I'm having a bit of a crappy day today. I'm recording this straight after number 11 where I sort of went a little tad angry. Stupid birds. Acting angry. Captain's Log, Stardate 4552.6. After departing Utopia Planitia fleet yards for a test flight of the newly completed USS Defiant, we have arrived in the Atari system to find some disturbing evidence of a Romulan incursion into Federation space. Starfleet Command has been notified of our discovery, and nearby starships are en route to our position. The Atarian Nebula was chosen as a proving ground for the Defiant's trial run because of its isolation from prying eyes. Yet. Here I stare at the wreckage of a Romulan warbird well within our borders. Starfleet has been concerned by the active re-emergence of the Romulan Star Empire in recent months. Their actions seem to be getting bolder with each new encounter, such as this most recent attempt to conquer Vulcan. As a matter of even greater concern, my chief engineer has informed me that upon entering Itari, our warp drive has become mysteriously inoperative. Until other Federation starships arrive, it is our duty to scout the area surrounding the nebula to determine what, if any, Romulan presence still lingers. Though this was supposed to be the Defiant's first trial run in a simulated exercise, I can't wait to see what our capabilities truly are. That's truly a spectacle I thought I'd never see, at least not this close. Let's get a scan of the... Oh, well, that's bad. You think they're angry? Your vessel is not known to us. State your intentions here. I'm Lieutenant Commander Benjamin Sisko, and I was just about to ask you that very question. Give me a reason why you have breached the neutral zone and violated the terms of our treaty. I am Commander Valerius of the Tal Shiar. We do as we will, with or without your approval. Our intelligence has placed a very dangerous fugitive in this sector, and we lay in wait for her. Am I to assume the disruption field inhibiting our warp drive is your doing? As I said, we are waiting for our prey. So you're hoping to catch your quarry? Then what? Then we intend to destroy her for the Romulan lives she has extinguished. Our justice and laws demand no less. Our laws mandate that anyone in our space is to be judged by our standard. If you wish to extradite a prisoner, you must go through the proper channels. You cannot simply... Do you take us for fools, Cisco? These new Vulcan weapons will not stop us. Your puppets cannot withstand the might of the Romulan Star Empire. Vulcan weapons? I have no idea what you're referring to, Commander. But the Federation does not attack its neighbors. You lie! I've seen firsthand what your allies did to one of our worlds. Yet one of your ships was unharmed by the Vulcan assassin you sent into our space. She plagued us for years, and now we will know vengeance. I'm not sure what you're basing your intelligence on, Valerius. But from where I'm sitting, you're the one who is in direct violation of our peace agreement. You dare feign ignorance? We both know I can't just leave you to your own devices here. You have violated our space. Enough. This conversation has become tiresome. And you are more useful dead than interfering with my plans. Get us into that nebula fast, Ensign. Full impulse power. Captain's Log, Stardate 4525.2.8. Starfleet has ordered the Enterprise and three other Federation starships to the Itarian Nebula in response to a disturbing lost. report from one of our vessels undertaking a routine training flight in the area. With little intelligence to go on and no sign of the Defiant, we have begun an intensive scan of the surrounding area to discover what may have happened to her. My chief engineer says all our systems are functioning properly. However, we seem to be unable to create a stable warp field. Sensors indicate this system is littered with objects that are giving off inverse graviton bursts. They seem to be having a destabilizing effect on our warp fields. 
We're also detecting something. A faint signal coming from within the nebula. It seems to be a Federation transponder. We should move to investigate. Okay. Enterprise. Course laid in. Oh, we know. Enemy vessel detected. Moving in to attack position. Course laid in. Safe yourself on the flight mass. Enemy vessel detected. Sensors. Nothing to report, Captain. Our shields are down. Cap it's a Federation disaster beacon. There's an encoded message hidden within the carrier. This is Lieutenant Commander Benjamin Sisko, acting captain of the Defiant. We've been attacked by Romulan warbirds and have been unable to get word back to Starfleet of the Romulan presence here. We were unable to elude them, having been restricted to impulse speeds. Seeking refuge within the nebula has bought us time, but they are very near to discovering us here. Any Federation vessel who discovers this beacon should attempt to destroy enough warp inhibitors to disable the disruption field. Only then can you form a stable warp bubble and escape. Target. Moving into attack position. Moving in to attack position. We have company. See if this gets our attention. Control's not responding. Engaging target. Threat neutralized. Moving in to attack position. New enemy vessels detected. Moving in to attack position. Target shields down. Threat neutralized. she is. Sensors have detected the Defiant within the shield perimeter of the Romulan base. No life signs are aboard. They must have taken the crew to the station. We'll have to get them back. Prepare away teams. But first, 
We'll have to bring the Romulan station shields down. Base is locked. There is no escape for you. New enemy vessels detected. Target shields down. I pissed them off a little. Engaging 
the Federation flagships up against you. Uh, still fighting, I've got to give you props to that. Credit break really is good, but it's definitely too subtle. Full Come on, die, you bastard, die. Shields are down. Away team, stand by. Transporter room, energize. Away team to Enterprise. We're aboard. Beginning infiltration. Understood. Keep a lock on them at all times, Chief. I want them back as soon as they've rescued the Defiance crew. Moving. Away team to Enterprise. We have them. Cisco to Enterprise. We'll beam to the Defiant. We can't leave her behind for the Romulan. Understood. Energizer. 
energize. Moving in to attack position. Moving in to attack position. Captain, the enemy shields are down. New enemy vessels detected. A warp bubble is now almost completely enveloping the ship. My engineer believes we have destroyed half of the emitters necessary for us to regain warp drive. Keep targeting the remaining emitters. Threat neutralized. Course set, Captain. We have come. Engaging target. Engaging target. There is no escape for you. Engage tractor beam. Engaging target. Romulan vessel destroyed. Target shields down. Moving into attack position. We have company. Threat neutralized. Engaging target. Engaging target. Moving into attack position. We destroyed the target. Force laid in. Moving into attack position. Enemy vessel detected. Threat neutralized. Warp capability has been restored. I think it's time to go, Captain Cisco. Let's get you out of here. Acting Captain's Log, Supplemental. Our encounter with the Romulan warships has truly tested the Defiant's fledgling capabilities. While she held up under fire, I can tell her systems still need a great deal of work. After informing Starfleet of the specifics of the engagement, the involvement of a Vulcan ship in combat with the Romulans seems to have caught their eye. The Romulan commander indicated that he had been harassed by some kind of Vulcan assassin. Those two terms don't seem very likely to be used in the same sentence, but I did witness an old Vulcan ship as we fled the nebula. I intend to find out what link these separate events have in common. I know it won't be easy, but something tells me that whatever I discover, it won't be to my liking. What the hell's going on there? Why are they shooting at each other? I'm rolling that as a uh-huh. Because that was odd. Anyway, that's the end of that part. I shall catch you in the next one, I guess.